I bought all of these like three months ago. So I can't quite remember my entire thinking process when I chose these items, like all the, you know, the particulars. So in this package came two items, but when I look at my purchase history from the seller, I only see that I purchased one item, but there's two items that came with it. So I don't know if she made a mistake. Maybe she was running a special at the time. I don't know, but this little piece right here, I did not order this, but it's really cute though. But this right here, I did order. Adorable, cute, tiny little elephant labre. This is a pushpin labre made from that bioplast material. This is the first time I've ever tried uh, the bioplast. This little piece is amazing because as tiny as it is, there's a lot of intricate detail inside of there. So this bar is 16 gauge around and it's 10 millimeters long. And I paid, I paid $7.50 for this, not including the shipping. So I got the little elephant for my uh, tragus here. All right, so I'm gonna put it in now. Oh my gosh, is this, is this too thick for my, oh. All right, let me get some, um, let me get some ointment. We're gonna lube it up and see. Ah, uh, shit. This makes me so mad. Let me stick something else in here. Maybe it's just like closing up or something. I'm gonna stick this in my ear. And now I'm gonna go in with like an 18 gauge bar and stick that in there and see how that fits. This is so stupid because I've had this piercing about 16 years and I just took a bar out of here like two months ago. So I don't understand. So I, I put an old bar inside of here. This is a 16 gauge, I believe. It took a lot to get this in here. So now it's all tender and it's starting to swell. There was no way I could get this in from the back. So I just put it in from the front and um, it's just a spare bar that I have, so if it falls out, it's fine, I guess. So I'm gonna leave this in here for a while and let that open up. The seller that I purchased the elephant from is Jewelry Box Piercings, and I'm gonna put the link down below. All right, so the next package that I opened came from another seller called BM25. BM25 Jewelry, that's the name of their store, and I ordered two things from this store. I got so discouraged with the elephant that I actually decided not to record this video and then I changed my mind. So while I was away, I went ahead and put this in. Before this, I just had a plain old um, ball in just like this, identical to this. This is a 16 gauge bar also and the bar is 516. 516 is eight millimeters and this gemstone is four millimeters around. The reason I only got one of these is because I wasn't sure how it was gonna work out. So that's why I only got one. I wanted to make sure it looked nice. I wanted to make sure it fit good. So this is an eight millimeter and it fit perfectly. There's like, there's no wiggle room in here. And that's, that's what I wanted. I didn't want it to wiggle. The bar that I had in here before was the healing bar. That was the bar that, that came with this piercing. I'm really excited about this because I've been waiting a long time for these to get to the point where I could, you know, swap the, the pieces out pain-free. So this is the second piece that I got from BM25. It's a ball and it's really sparkly. Yeah, so this bar is 16 gauge, 5 16 as in eight millimeters long. This is just a regular screw top libre and I'm gonna put it in my Medusa, Medusa? I keep forgetting what this is called. I already pulled the top off of this, so I'm just gonna slide this out. I already swished this around in some alcohol. I'm gonna try to make this switcher as quick as possible. I put the wrong bar in. All right, got the bar in. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm. Well, let me put some lip gloss on and see how I feel about it. I actually like it. The last piece I had in here really blended in with my skin tone and was hardly noticeable. Like I would forget it was even there. That's cute. Let me turn the light up. It's really big. I think next time I'll try a three millimeter ball. I got a four millimeter because the last piece I had was four millimeter and I like the size of that. Since this is like so bright and popping, I think I could have went with the three millimeter actually. So because my lips are so full, I feel like I feel like my face can handle this size. This is, see? So the next piece that I ordered was this star right here. This is my second star like this that I purchased from this lady. It's a 20 gauge, it's 14 karat gold filled. I like this star so much that I ordered it a second time. I got this specifically to help squash out this bump that came when I got this uh, piercing. It's nice and flat and it like pretty much got rid of the bump. Let me get closer so you can see it. I think this is like six millimeters around or maybe seven millimeters around, but I really like it. And I paid $14 for this. Also gonna post a link to this seller on Etsy. Her name is K Rax Jewelry and she's she's awesome i bought a pair of earrings from her too so this next one came from voodoo design oh my gosh look all right guys look at this packaging this is so cute and mind you this has been sitting in my closet for three months look at this bow this is so cute and the notes tie-dye too Thank you very much for your purchase from Voodoo Design Ebony. I hope you enjoy wearing your new hoop. This is so cute and thoughtful and just, you know, full of good vibes. This is 12 millimeter. I got this hoop for my oldest nose piercing. So this is how she packaged it in the bag. I've never seen this before. I'm sure there's a reason for her putting this in here. I just, I, I don't know, but it looks, looks like she put some thought into this. I'm waiting for this top one to heal before I change this one out. Yeah, it's just, it's under construction. So I'm not ready to put that hoop in. All right, so let's open up the last one. So this is another piece that I ordered from k -Rax. So this is her receipt. She says, thank you. And here it is. So, oh, shh. Oh, I found it, okay. All right, so this is what it is. Sterling silver disc, no screw. This is a 22 gauge, three millimeter disc. I'm gonna put this in my second nose piercing. All right, here we go. There it is. Well, I like this much better than the piece I had in before. This is what I had in there before. And I like it, but it, it's just not what I wanted to put in there. You know, I just wasn't in the mood for this. So, so I'm liking this much better. All right, so that's it, I'm done. Thanks guys for watching and um, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.